Now on the flip side of that, who would be their single greatest recruiting miss or loss? Yeah, so here's the thing on that. And it's re- it's really interesting because so much has happened in this class and there have been a lot of positives. And this is in Zach Carpenter and I, um, our publisher here, we talked about this in our rapid recap video that you can find right here on YouTube as well. There was a lot of positive momentum, right? Like a lot of things did go right, but there is a thing that is not necessarily all the way tied into just this staff that I think people have forgotten about. And that's quarterback quarterback recruiting. If you go look at the amount of high-end quarterbacks that were not just in this state this year with Zane Flores, but also kind of in the region with Avery Johnson out in Kansas, um, Lincoln Kineholtz, who's up in the South Dakota, who ended up going to Ohio State, J.J. Cole, who's over in Anki, Iowa, who is, is another kid that Nebraska had on the radar, but just kind of cooled on, I guess. Quarterback recruiting for the actual 2023 signing class was a huge miss. I, like, I don't know if you're going to have another are you going to have another year like this where you have basically was it four four star kids in the region and driving distance from your campus and you're really not in the mix for any of them like it's going to be fascinating to see moving forward tracking how those guys do in college but that's definitely a miss again not all on the rule staff obviously and they did try because someone's going to ask in the comments they did try to get back in with Zane Flores um he basically said thanks but no thanks to Nebraska and a whole host of other schools uh because he was solid with Oklahoma State